Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're here if you like this kind of content. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with a 20 ounce um, skinny tumbler from Stainless Steel Depot. We have some mica powder from Nurture Soap. This is Summer Crush. I love using micas as colorants. Um, if you guys haven't figured that out, I have them pretty much in every color under the rainbow. And this is actually the Counterculture DIY Prime Time. And so, this is a long one. Get you guys a snack. Get you guys a nice little drink. Um, so yeah, so using a lot of new products in here, like a lot of stuff from Counterculture DIY. They're kind of like, you know, I love my glitter, but like everything else I kind of get from them, it seems like almost. Um, so yeah, a lot to talk about here. So while I am priming this, let me tell you a little bit about what I think about the prime time. This is actually my second time trying to cover this in prime time, y'all. I do have the footage. I'm, I'm, do y'all, do y'all really want to start seeing like my blooper videos? Like I have so many videos that just are unpublished because I mess up. I make mistakes. Everything doesn't always go right for me. I try to give you guys the best video possible with the things I have learned at that point. Um, but yeah, so like, for example, with this prime time, I've been seeing all the Tumblr girls using it on the internet. And, oh, y'all are going to hate me. I don't like it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hopefully, counter I'm a tag. Can I? I'm a tag counterculture DIY. Hey, counterculture DIY people, help me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So, like I said, this is my second time using it. You see right now, even, I get, I kept getting these, like, these patches that would dry really fast and like in general like as soon as air hits this product it dries so quick and they say you should be able to use it as like a um like an adhesive almost so that's after one coat i've waited two hours the last time i did it i waited a day to do come back and do the second coat um yeah i just it flakes off worse than acrylic paint and I just feel like no one else is having that experience. And I'll even show you guys a little bit of like how it flakes very easily um, off the cup. The last, the, the first layer that I did with it, well, actually I ended up doing two layers. I literally touched the cup on the bottom of the cup. And like where I put my finger, all the product that came up, it was dry. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I need to like follow the instructions to the key where it says like, put the coat on, wait an hour, do the next coat. Like I didn't know. So let me go back to explaining what I'm doing because now I'm getting off track, but I'm trying to give you guys an honest review. Um, so yeah, so now I'm doing, I don't even know what this method is called. I don't know who invented it or where it came up, but I had, this is, these are all the colors from the July surprise box. Um, so there are five colors. That first purple color you saw me using is called Festival, which she is my favorite from the collection. I love her. Um, we also have Sherbet, which is the orange, Solstice, which is the pink clear skies which is the blue and then mojito which is the green and so pretty much with this method i'm just i was using my fingers at first but it was getting a little too messy y'all know mm, i'm messy enough i don't need to create extra mess and so i picked up my spoon and literally you just scatter the glitter where it's wet and that's it and then you do multiple layers to create dimension i love this method i was thinking when i was doing this cup i would really like to do one with neons i think that would be so cute or even for the fall i might do one like this for the fall but like it's different you know i know all the girls right now are doing stripes and everything y'all know i'd be behind on the trends even with this cup so that's how it looks with one layer um and of course i'm going to come back and do another layer i did stick this glitter on with the prime time before the next layer i am going to use mod podge to stick it but right here you see like just that easily boom just flicks up it was dry like and it wasn't sticking good and i my prep my cup was prepped so i don't know what i'm doing wrong but for me right now the prime time is just a no um, this cup ended up being for myself, so I wasn't worried about it going to a customer and me not really feeling confident in the primer. And, you know, it's nice to have, especially someone like me who lives in a place where it's winter nine months a year, hence why y'all are getting a summer cup at the end of June, because we just hit summer, baby. Like, we're <laughs> we're cold. I'm trying to get better about staying on top of, like, the, the country's general weather trends as opposed to my weather trend, because if that's the case, y'all going to start getting winter stuff in September. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm going to redo that same thing. And again, with this method, you're really trying to create depth. So you're not going to, you're not trying to like match the color that you see underneath it. You want to create depth and like when the light hits it, you're catching different colors and all those beautiful things. Y'all should see how I'm moving my body right now because I'm really into it. But yeah, your main goal is just, just get it on there. Pick colors that match. 
And if you want to, you can go pick up all these glitter that I just told you about on period6glitter.com. Shameless plug because, of course, that's why we're here. We love the glitter. We're the glitter girls. Let me be your glitter supplier. I got you, girl. And so, but yeah, you're doing this just to create depth. And I think this looks really pretty. And I think it looked really nice. And all these colors went together very well. So, yeah. But back to me about prime time. I don't. I don't know if y'all are using it. Let me know what I'm what I may be doing wrong. Like I said, my cut was prepped. I followed the instructions on the packaging and it it was like I said, it was worse than acrylic paint for me. Um, usually in those cases, I'm assuming I'm doing something wrong. I didn't really know how to correct it. I just went in very cautiously the second time because I was determined to use it because it was like twenty dollars for that little bottle. So I was very determined. So that's kind of how I feel about it right now. If and when my opinion changes, I will let y'all know. So the next thing, another counterculture DIY product y'all see me use all the time is the Quick Coat. I love this stuff. Actually, I know how to use this stuff. I think it works very good with when you're using fine glitters like this. It really just makes it very easy to epoxy and lessens your chances of having to sand a lot. Um, so I did do two layers of this, but y'all have seen me use this before. Love this stuff. Think it's great. Counterculture DIY. They are the girls for this. So yeah, not doing that. Like I said, I'll, I'll be trying to keep everything in here because, and I just want y'all to know if, if you don't see me do it in the video and I don't explicitly mention it, it didn't happen. I've been getting a lot of questions, like people asking like, um, do you do this or do you do that? Girl, if you don't see it in the video and if I didn't talk about it, like I might tell you at the end, like, oh, I blasted it with the heat gun. You may not have seen me do it, but if I say it, then it happened. But if I don't say it and you don't see it in the video, it didn't happen. So now I'm just going to do my first layer of epoxy. This is the Counterculture DIY um, Artist Resin, the medium. Loving the medium. I have been using the regular Artist Resin, which is very thick. And when you live in a place that's cold like mine, it just makes it super thick. And I was getting a lot of bubbles. But this medium viscosity one, she's that girl too lover you can work in thin layers if you want to you can make it a little thicker if you want to like i said i i really like her and i honestly i think their epoxies are great they're crystal clear they're awesome they need to make me an affiliate counterculture diy if y'all if i once i tag y'all y'all made it to the point in this video call at your girl like let's let's work but yeah so just doing a layer of epoxy like you can really see those colors like look at it oh y'all it looks so good i loved how this looked just in general without anything on it and so once that cured, I did put some epoxy, epoxy, some vinyl on it. I will leave a link to the vinyl that I use. And it says, don't let your ice cream melt while you're counting someone's sprinkles. Um, I made this decal myself. If y'all want me to start, and I have my name on the back. If y'all want me to start making like my files available to y'all, um, I can try to figure that out somehow and we'll make it work. Um, but yeah, this is some more of the artist resin and I'm going to be using the counterculture DIY <laughs> nice and thick. This is a commercial, like it's a, it's a real deal commercial for them. Um, and also the counterculture DIY sprinkles. These are Alakazam. Y'all see me use these before. I'm, I'm trying to use them up. Truth be told, if y'all want one of these, y'all want to order one of these cups, let me know. Cause I need to get rid of these sprinkles. <laughs> Um, and so y'all just see me adding some titanium dioxide again, along with all my micro powder and stuff from nurture. soap. I love to use that to make sure I get a white shade. The nice and thick gives it like milky white. I wanted it stark white, like vanilla ice cream. Um, and now I'm just going to scoop and y'all know me and this thing. We don't know what we're doing. With, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Either. I'm saying we're, we are not at fault. I am at fault. Um, so pretty much what I did with this is y'all are going to see me keep adding it like I always do. And then I just let it sit for about 45 minutes. I came back every 10 minutes and would do like a little test. And y'all will see how I do my test, which is just essentially really just putting on a mouthwash cup and seeing how long and how far the drip goes. And that kind of tells me when I think I'm ready to use it based on my drip preferences. This one specifically, I didn't want it to move too much because I really wanted that vinyl and those decals to be able to show through. So I didn't. Uh, I wanted it really thick because I really didn't want it to move. So I just had to be patient and wait that out. The problem with me being patient is when I get up and I walk away, y'all, <laughs> I be doing all of stuff. Like, I will clean my whole kitchen. Like, I'll be like, oh, let me run up to Target. And I'll come back, back, and come back in the house and be like, oh, my goodness. I got this, I got this epoxy sitting here. <laughs> so I be trying to, like, stay focused and remember, like, I do got stuff going on. But, yeah, this is how I do the little test. Uh, I just put it up there and then I watch it to see how long and how far the drips go. And once I'm satisfied is when I'll put it on my actual cup. 
And let me know if y'all like these angles. I'm trying different angles. I got a new tripod that's a little more reliable since, you know, I've been breaking up my camera. And I'm just wiping it down, my cup down with alcohol, in case anyone is wondering. But, yeah, let me know if you like these different angles. I know all the t it's hard to see from the top down all the time. You can't always see what I'm doing. And in this case, um, I don't like having to with the top down angle because then I have to hold my cup horizontally and it's best to keep it vertical because once you uh, tilt it horizontally it um you know your your drip start to like wiggle around the cup and I didn't want that and since I know it does that I was like let me let me play with my new little tripod and see what we can get popping as far as different angles so let me know if y'all like these angles better um it kind of gives a better visual as opposed to always the the overhead look down and see so i thought it looked pretty good so y'all just let me know what y'all think and we'll go from there but yeah so a lot of counterculture diy stuff i like the nice and thick i like the quick coat sprinkles are cute what else did we just use again i was more of the media no for the drips i did use the regular artist resin because i still have some so that is just a regular artist resin i'm using like 82 other products this is the whole website <laughs> Uh, they actually have a lot of stuff on their website, though, so check it out. But if you want glitter, get it from me. Girl, I got you. But, yeah, and I don't know if y'all can tell, but this video was literally filmed over a month. <laughs> Life really began in my way. And so with my name and the decal specifically, I was very thin on the, the amount of epoxy I put because I didn't really want my decals covered. Um, on the cup, I wanted you to be able to clearly read them. And so I was very intentional with how much product I put um, in those places. But like in the gaps between the two decals, I was I went a little heavier and I put some extra. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I even have 30 minutes of anything to give y'all. I'm going to have to tell the story in a minute. <laughs> um, because yeah, like this is all you see me do. And if you made it to this point and you watch it straight, straight through to this point, I will try to remember to put timestamps. They have the auto timestamps now. So hopefully YouTube is able to decipher everything I got going on and me being all over the place and is able to put the timestamps in for me in the event that I forget. But yeah, hope everyone's been well. Hope everyone's remaining safe. And so that's what my drips are going to start out at and I'm just gonna leave them like that and so um, you can see some drips have come down further than I wanted them to and so I've showed you guys this trick before what you do before it really starts setting up you usually have about an hour ish and you just take something and you just wipe that thing away wipe it away where you don't want it of course it's still gonna drip down a little bit more after that so you can go a little higher than you want it to and it'll like kind of reform and reform that nice strip but just wipe it away and then you're going to come back through with like a Q-tip soaked in alcohol. Like don't be stingy with your alcohol. Dip that, dunk that bad boy in the alcohol and get it nice and wet. And your epoxy is going to rub right away. No issues. So again, y'all have, I'll leave, I'll leave my initial video where I didn't know what I was doing. So I can show you how I got here. And you know, me and the drips were comfortable now. I like them. I'm good. I think I don't be like, I don't want to be like, I'm good at them. But you know, I'm, I'm halfway decent. You know what I mean? I would feel comfortable selling a drip cup to a customer now. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just me cleaning everything with a Q-tip and get, get it going. So yeah, this is, remember this little method in case you look at your drips and you're like, I don't like these or this one came down way further than I wanted it to. Just remember you, you, if you see it while it's still not like hardening and curing really fast, um, you can clean it up and it'll be all right. We're here to get through it together. All right. So it's the next day, baby. It might be two days later, knowing me or a week. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm just going to put another layer of epoxy on it, getting it all around and in the, the nooks, crannies and around the drip. Making sure my vinyl is nice and covered. And again, it's a counterculture DIY medium viscosity artist resin. So yeah, this is a different, another different angle. I don't know if just come on, y'all, give me credit for these angles. Like the video if you like the angles. Um, so yeah, so now I have it at a different angle. Let me know if you guys like this one too. You know, instead of always having to see it from the top down, coming at y'all with a little side view. Oh, y'all, and I got a ring light, my ring light. I finally got my ring light. So now you won't have to look at 
the the constant changing of the lighting um I do I still do like the way how natural sunlight looks but anyways but yeah I got a ring light now so I can film at night so that's how the cup looks you could have just left it like this it's cute she's cute she's giving um but yeah so I really wanted I'm really into the toppers you guys seem seem to really like the topper video you can see all the elements in that glitter um but yeah and so let's go about making an ice cream topper let's do it don't know what I'm doing but I'm gonna figure it out and so the first thing that I knew is that that little flip cap was going to get on my nerve because it makes the lid uneven and it makes it hard to seat anything in there. And if you wanted to put anything on the lid, you wouldn't be able to use it to flip it up because what you're going to have is going to block it. And so um, I, y'all know I do my own nails. Oh, yeah. And check out my nails are completely different. Um, so I have an e-file for when I do my nails. And so... I need it to weaken that bond, even though it's all plastic, there's no metal elements or anything in this lid, but I need it to weaken that um, structure. And so I'm just going to kind of pierce it and take away some of that material with my e-file. Kind of, I'm going to zoom in and show you guys a little better. But yeah, I just, I'm like, I need to weaken this because I'm not strong enough to pop it off. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did. And eventually I was able to kind of, it was, a, it was, I was able to lessen the mass of the material and was eventually able to just pop it off just like that I did want to keep the little center hole piece just to keep it clogged you didn't really have to but in case you wanted to so yeah that was that so next uh these are the car cup coasters and so I'll leave a link to these molds below they were I, they, I don't remember how much they were don't make me lie actually um and that's just parchment paper and so since I noted that that fit in the lid, I was like, let's do it like reusable, washable lid style. So I'm going to just trace this and get my outline going because this is going to serve as the outline for the ice cream scoops. And then I'm going to make sure that I have carved out enough space for where the straw needs to poke through at. Um, because like the little notch that's already in it is not big enough so yeah so just you know being an artiste when y'all can see I am not one so funny enough this is the poly sculpt this is from counterculture DIY and they've since changed the name to counter sculpt that shows you how long I've been trying to work on this project but you know time adulting y'all y'all know that's a farberware ice cream scoop and it's like a part A and part B. You're supposed to mix equal parts. And you're just supposed to like eyeball it. They say like roll it into a ball. And just eyeball it. And when they're equal parts, mix them together. And that's when you got your stuff. And so I did go into this barehanded. I do eventually switch to gloves. Because they don't feel sticky at first. But they end up leaving like a weird sticky residue on my hands. Like when I scooped out the two bowl, balls. And so I did um, end up putting on gloves. So yeah. So just be aware and I, I didn't honestly y'all know me I'd be winging it I, I looked I glanced <laughs> admittedly at the the back of the jar uh, to see if it had any kind of warnings about what I should be wearing I didn't but I didn't didn't pop out at me <laughs> so I was just like mm, I'm probably good barehanded but then like I said the residue was like getting really sticky on my hands and so I'm like eh, let me put on some gloves So that's A setting off to the side on the right. And now I'm going to, like I said, my hands had gotten sticky from part A. So I kind of used this little spoon to dig out B. And plus, I had less B in my jar than I did A. I don't know if that was intentional, but counterculture DIY, y'all owe me. Um, just side note. <laughs> y'all can just, we can work that out when we set up all my affiliate stuff. <laughs> Speak stuff into existence, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Some like when you need like a new job and your job not working out and it's causing you mental stress or physical stress or any kind of stress. Speak what you need into existence. You work hard towards it, and I promise you, you will have it. I'm one of them people. I'm all about manifestation. Manifestation with action. You can manifest all day, but if you don't actually put action behind it, then it means nothing. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I'm not a licensed therapist or a life coach. Take this advice or leave it. I appreciate all you guys back to the video so I measured out the two little balls I couldn't tell if they were the same size so me being me I got out my scale and so the first one was 0.8 something the second was 0.78 I figured I'll just make them 
the the bid the bigger ball match the smaller one you know save on product in case i want to do this again you know what i'm saying so i pulled that little piece off and boom 0.78 i couldn't believe it i got it like i pulled away the right amount on the first try i was very happy about that made it quick and easy they didn't look the same size but i'm like i don't I don't know if they was it was supposed to be by weight was a proper measurement, but I'm like, I'm going for it. Because, you know, weight and volume are two different <laughs> measurements that can result in two different results. But they felt like this they weighed, had similar weights based on with the same volumes, with similar volumes, so I figured it was going to be okay. So, yeah, now I'm just smashing these together. As I was doing this, I don't, I'm not going to show y'all too, too much because I kept looking out the window because I heard the FedEx man pull up where he had the new rhinestones. Yes, the rhinestones are coming back. Give me a week um to get everything packaged i knew i got new packaging coming too which i'm very happy about but yeah you just mix these together until it's not shrieky anymore one is kind of cream and one is white so you will know once they have indeed come together so yeah so just know that also be aware that this um sharpie and you see how now how dirty and sticky my hands are so i'm glad i put on those gloves but yeah so i'm just gonna do it like i'm doing ice cream scoops it's very I think I just had, you see, it actually, like, flew out the scoop. This, I think it was the ice cream scoop that was giving me problems. Like, and this, I had a hard, I had to go to three stores to find this. I went to Ikea, Target, and I finally found this ice cream scoop at Walmart. And I despise Walmart. But I found this ice cream scoop at Walmart, and it was, like, $6. And I was pissed because I don't think an ice cream scoop should cost $6. I don't know if I'm just old, but these worldwide shortages is driving the price up of regular people things. And I did not appreciate that. But, yeah, you can see all the trouble I'm having getting out the, the dang ice cream. And so, yeah, but I finally got my scoops together. Be careful when you're molding this because I wanted to keep a lot of that ice cream texture that you get from the ice cream scoop. So, you know, of course, when you touch it, it's like soft so it's like gonna change the surface texture and the surface feel and the surface look so I was trying to be as gentle as possible and not put like my fingerprints in it so that's why I'm using this little spoon and you see me get all up in the camera excuse that um yeah but just to kind of make sure that they are sticking together because if I would have tried to smash them together with my hands I would have ruined the ice cream scoops so you just got to be gentle and have a light hand which is something I do not have and so yeah so just be gentle make your tools work for you and it will all work out good hopefully I was surprised I was able to do this on the first try y'all know stuff don't usually go this easy for me but yeah I I don't know it it worked out but the beginning of the video didn't so I guess now I've had I had my screw up early in the build so now I'm good. So now I'm just going to go on and stick on some of those sprinkles while it is still. This is like, I'm literally doing this stuff back to back, you guys. I'm not waiting for anything to happen. Like, I was like, all right, grab the sprinkles, open them, dump them, put them on while it's all still wet. It took, like, I, I felt like after about an hour-ish, I noticed it starting to set up um, pretty good. And so, yeah, so you don't really have, like, a bunch of time to play with this. I would say probably you have about... <sighs> Uh, 30 minutes to an hour ish um to get things how you like it I would say I don't know if they had a working time I didn't see it when I glanced at the products I didn't see it but I'm assuming that 30 minutes to an hour is about your working life for these products so yeah and I'm just using tweezers and a weeding tool to help me get those on there And shaping everything up, making sure I like it. This is the next day. This is what we're working with. It's nice and hard. We still got that ice creamy texture. And here's our lid. So when I had epoxied, I had extra epoxy left. And I just had poured it in this mold. And it's been sitting there ever since I epoxied this cup, you know, a month ago. And so I was like, cool, perfect. I don't actually have to go make one for this project because I have this one sitting right here. Problem is that hole, that little notch that we were talking about is not big enough to fit a straw through. And so, and yeah, this cup is definitely a cup you're going to want to drink through the straw because, you know, you don't want to tilt that cup up and have that ice cream scoop in your nose every time you're trying to get a sip of your coffee. You know what I'm saying? So again, I'm back to my Idra. I'm using a sanding band, which they're like, you get like 500 for like $5. We have a, we actually have a beauty supply store here in Denver where you can go if you don't have a license and actually buy professional supplies. I don't know if that's legal. That's not none of my business. But I went up in there and they let me buy. So I was thankful. 
but yeah and so i'm going to just use my sanding band to help me carve out that notch further so i can make sure i can get the straw through with ease and no issues and yeah, all that good stuff if i didn't have this sanding this e-file what would i have done girl i do not know do not ask me no no troubling questions like that these e-files like 20 dollars. or you can just get a dremel 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 what's it called y'all i think it's called a dremel a Dremel. I'll be putting spice on everything. I would, my ass would say Dremel. Uh, I think it's called a Dremel. But yeah, so I'm just going to carve that out until I feel like I like how freely the straw moves in and out of that little circle, that little notch, and all that jazz. And then I just wipe, you can just wipe off the, the Sharpie with, uh, what's that stuff called? Alcohol. But yeah, you can see I got a night, and it makes it nice and clean and professional looking. You know what I mean? If you got like the sanding bit and the e file, like it's not like raggedy looking. And so yeah, these are just little magnets that I got off Amazon. You get all these for like five bucks. I will leave a link to it below in the description box. So yeah, these are these are tiny. I thought these were bigger than they were, but I admittedly didn't check the measurements before I bought them. I was just like, oh, these look like the ones I'm looking for. And so yeah, so I'm gonna just make four little marks because they weren't because they were smaller than I were was expecting. I only wanted to do two magnets, but because they were so small, I felt better doing four. So I'm just making and I'm using the Let's Resin new company. Yay! The Let's Resin Clear UV Resin. And so I'm gonna just stick these on with that. So just taking my picker tool. I do have the resin like off to the side and I'm picking it up and putting it in the locations where I've marked sticking those magnets on. Ooh, child. These little magnets wasn't playing no games. These bad boys was teaming up with each other and shooting everywhere. Like, <laughs> they was like, no, we stick together. We stay. You see, boom. Just one just found his friend and flopped off. I'm just like, ooh, y'all, y'all really not trying to go on this cut, baby, because y'all just don't. No amount of uncured, uncured resin was going to make these. Look at them. Boom. Stuck together. They did not. I had to, like, keep them apart. <laughs> it's like trying to keep two kids apart at playtime. Like, it was giving me the blues. But I eventually got them to stay, and I hurried up and, like, grabbed the lamp and, like, cure. So, yeah. And I also leave a link to the lamp below. Lamps are cheap. They're, like, 20 bucks. All right. So once I was satisfied with that, I'm going to just go in and drop magnets directly on top of the ones that are on there. And so now there's two magnets right there. And how we're going to do this, I'm going to take some more of that UV resin and put it on the bottom of these magnets. I'm going to flip this onto the lid. And because it's nice and clear, I can just cure it with the lamp. And then you'll see that the magnets are now stuck to the lid. And we have like a two-way magnet system. So yeah, cure it and boom. Now your magnets are stuck to the lid, nice and easy. You don't have to try to line them up or do anything special with like markings or anything. So yeah, nice and easy, easy way to do that. And now you have a washable lid. You can just take your ice cream scoops off and easily just wash your lid on the daily or however often you use your cups. So yeah, so let's finish this cup up by just using UV resin and adding our ice cream scoops to this little lid we just made. So yeah, this part's the, this was the easiest part. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot. I know it was long. I hope it was informative. I showed you guys a lot of different products, a lot of different techniques. I hope, um, you know, like my mama always tell me, learn something. <laughs> even she tells me that even now when I be going to work. Um, learn something. So I hope you guys learned something. It was informative. If it wasn't informative, I at least hope it was entertaining. I try not to bore you guys to death. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I did cure that for 90 seconds. I held it at first to make sure everything stayed on there. And then once I was satisfied that it was on there good, I just let that do its thing underneath the lamp. Caught it today. And this is what we have. So this is the final cup. Super happy with it. I love the glitter. I love the drips. Love the vinyl. Love the ice cream scoops. I think it's awesome and amazing. Oh my goodness, I didn't take a shot of me taking the lid on and off. Well, take my word for it, y'all. That's how it works. I appreciate you guys being here. If you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Perry6Designs. You can follow me on TikTok at Perry6Glitter. You can check out our glitter collection, Perry6Glitter.com, for all your glitter and rhinestone needs. Did I say subscribe? Subscribe while you're here. We're almost to 30K. I would truly appreciate it. Like, big goals. Never thought I would be here. Um, so, yeah. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below. 
Um, if you're shy and you need help, you can DM me on Instagram. Um, I'll be getting some of you guys just shy ones in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one.